Okay, at this point you may be asking yourself, what is quilting? What exactly does quilting mean? Quilting is the top, the middle, and the bottom. It's called a quilt. The top is the design that you make with your material. The middle is your batting, which I will get to and show you later. And the bottom is your backing. It is a quilt sandwich. Say you have, uh, you're making a bologna sandwich. You have bread on top, bologna in the middle, bread on the bottom. That is a quilt. Top, middle, bottom. Top, batting, bottom. So, we are going to make an Irish chain, double Irish chain. Okay, this is from Quilt in the Day, Eleanor Burns. We are going to follow her pattern exactly. Okay. Supplies. Well, we need the uh, quarter inch foot, which I have on the machine. Sharp needle. Always make sure you have a sharp needle. You're going to need your 6x12 ruler. I don't have one of those. I have the 6x... I have a 6x12. So, it, it's the 12x12. 12 12. So, you would have to go in the middle, again, with a glow line tape. Right here where it says 6. Go down. And that's your 6x12. If you're left-handed, it would be this way. Right-handed, this way. And this is what you need is a 6x12. Don't go and get a 6x12 ruler right now. Just get a 12x12, 12 12, the big block. You will use this ruler a lot. Just like the 6x24. Okay, you need the 12-inch square-up ruler. That's what I just showed you right there. Your 6x24 ruler is this ruler right here that I showed you early on. 6x24. <clears throat> this is optional. Um, I don't have one of those. I don't really need one. Although it's easier to cut and, and things with it, but I don't own one. Your stiletto, I showed you. You need one of those. Let me open it up again for you. Remember this point is very 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 sharp okay you need the clover marker which is this right here this allows you to mark your seams without using pens or or uh, pencils or markers of any kind this is really really good it, it uh, you press down and it marks your seam for you although I find the pins and everything come out better because this is kind of hard to see but it does work if you want to do it that way you need your uh, fork pin which is these right here they go as you can see right here to help you with your borders and whatnot they they kind of keep it in place for you so you can sew it this is a package of 35 you need your glow line tape right here I will be taping my rulers to show you an easier way so you can keep track of the what you have to cut the size you have to cut and everything okay you need Invisigrip this right here comes in a big like this you need glue stick this right here your Seems so fast. That's this right here. Helps you to perfect your seams when you're doing it. Adjustable clear plastic. You can just feed the strips through it. Your, um, these other things aren't really that important right now. A shamrock stencil. I have that to do the borders, but I'm going to do my borders with these templates called ice cream cone they come in different sizes and they're like that I, I think that it would be very pretty on the back of I mean along the borders of the quilt 
I have three different sizes there that I can use. They're called ice cream cones. You may do your borders straight, just the material, or any other kind of, of border that you would like to choose. This is my choice. You do not have to do what I'm doing. It's a border for you. Your scissors, your seam ripper, your thread cutting center, scissors, your rotary cutter. Remember I told you how sharp this was? Always close it when you're done. People have been cut really bad by not closing it. Your uh, pins, your numbered pins when you cut the material and you put it in the um, way that you want it, arrange it the way that you want it in the rows. You number your rows with your numbered pins. The only place I know of to get this is Quilt in a Day. They're the only ones I know that, that sell this. But you're going to need it. Now, instead of using the, the marker, again, to the pen or the two pencils. And you're going to need a tape measure, and you're going to need these wonder clips to clip everything together. And you're going to need some safety pins that are curved, but I'll get to that later. Here's another size uh, clip that you can use. They're rather big, but they work. It just all depends on what you want to use and what you want to do. These pins are, are cheaper. And they come in their own plastic case. So, I would recommend those. Uh, you're going to need pen cushions for your pens. Um, whatever you like. Most people get the red tomato. Most people get this one. It's cheaper. And it does the trick. Notice I have it. I've never used it. I have. This is a large. To fit all those pens. Um. You're going to need an iron and an ironing board. Uh, Target has a really good uh, digital irons now. They work really well. I really like it. Um, you'll be seeing mine later on. My ironing board later on. I have a limited amount of room and I didn't want to set it up at the moment. But I will be showing it to you later on. Because we do a lot of ironing in quilting. A lot of the seams and whatnot. I use what's called Best Press, Mary Ellen's Best Press. This is really, really, not only does it smell good, this one is Tea Rose Garden, it gets out the wrinkles quick of any wrinkles because when you're, you know, you usually fold the material and thing, or you buy it and it's folded and things like that and you want to get it out. Well, I, want, I iron my, before I do anything, first thing I do is I iron my material. So that all the wrinkles and everything are out and that when you cut, it'll be an even cut. And if you have wrinkles or, or something, one, one piece might be three inches where you need two and a half inches. The other piece will come out two and a half inches because there's no wrinkles. But I always use this and I always have a lot on hand and uh, it, it works really good. And it smells really good. I really like it. Um, Okay, we have Irish chain. Okay, you're going to want to get your um, we're not doing the single Irish chain, we're doing the double. Okay, so for the double, we need. I think I can go on. Let me find the um, yardage that we need to get for the devil. I think this is just the single. And I don't want to do the single. Okay. Okay. Block A, block B. Okay, I think that's okay. Double. If you want to do single, that single, one yard, two and three. If you want to do the borders um, we're going to do the double this will be the yardage you need 
I will go over it with you. This is just a, a idea, whatever size you want to make. Do you want to make a wall hanging? Do you want to make a lap? Wall hangings are 3x3, three three, laps are 3x5, twin coverlet are 5x7, twin extra long 5x9, full queen 7x9, king 9x9. Nine nine. I will be making a queen because my bed is a queen. Okay, and then we will go into the Omni Grip um, and how to, how to make it, what to do, how many things to, how many blocks to cut, how many strips to cut. This is your devil. This is what I'm going to go by, devil. So your your wall hanging actually says three by three, but it's 50 inches by 50 inches. Your lap is three by five, but it's 50 inches by 70 inches. Twin is five by seven but 78 by 96 inches. Twin extra long, 5 by 9, 78 by 116 inches. Full queen, nine, 7 by 9, 96 by 116. And your king, 9 by 9, 116 by 116. It's going to be a pretty big quilt, but these are. this is what you need. This kind of tells you how to do it. I will, I will be showing you page by page as I do it. But for now, I just want you to get an idea of what we're going to be doing. Okay, so we say that we need... Let's say we need six different kinds of material. Okay? For example, I'm just going to pull out some of mine here that I've had. Okay, here is six different examples. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So how how do you want to arrange them? That's that's one thing you need to know. These are all one yard. Okay, so, oh, let's say the pink with the really pretty yellow here, with the really pretty green, and then this flowers that's different colors, kind of reminds me of the 70s, hippie looking, with this really pretty blue. The blue will match the butterflies. With this really pretty pink, purple will match the pink and the pinks. And that would be my color arrangement. You need to buy your material according to however you want to make it. It doesn't matter, it's your quilt. Although I'm going to want to see your quilt when you're done. This is a, an example of a color arrangement. Um, my color arrangement. Okay, we can do um, others. Okay, I have a pink here, and a blue, and a green, a yellow, and two purples. Okay, so if we wanted to take out this blue and add this pink if you're really into pink okay then we would go blue so we want to do it uh, blue green which there is really no, well, there's a little bit of green right here, so the green here would match that. Um, yellow. And then blue again. Okay, I don't think purple is going to work. Because there's really, well, there's purple over here in the flowers. 
but 